One of my favorite things about building wind farms is getting to know the landowners and the communities where we build projects. EDPR prides itself on becoming part of the community. Having grown up in a small town myself, one of the things about the job that I really enjoy is being able to go into small communities like my hometown and work with the same down-to-earth people like I grew up with. Wind energy is bringing a lot of jobs back to rural America. In fact, the wind turbine technician is the fastest growing job in America. Oh, this job means everything to me. This is how I support my family. You know, got a wife and a daughter to take care of. I've seen guys climb from entry level tech to troubleshooting tech to site manager. The sky's the limit for a good performer and somebody that just really wants to build a career in wind energy. I think one of the things that distinguishes EDPR from other companies is that we actually have local presence in each wind farm that we operate. Every one of our wind farms are, is equipped with the O&M office. The O&M office has a site manager and technicians that will be the boots on the ground for any maintenance or any troubleshooting done during business hours. Beyond business hours, we have our central headquarters here in Houston, Texas, which has a control center. The control center here in Houston is our communications hub. If the technicians have an issue out in the field working on a turbine, they call the control center. We have operators 24-7, around the clock, 365 days a year, who are watching these turbines and making sure that everything goes perfectly fine. We don't want a turbine to be out in the field and not producing power. Then we also have our SCADA team, and SCADA is really just a fancy name for what collects all of the data. We collect data every 10 seconds, both to review, but then also to later analyze. All of this is to make sure that our turbines perform like they're supposed to, and we have a very limited impact on landowner's land. Many times when we build a wind farm, the employees that come and work at that wind farm have been in the area for their whole life. A number of the young people that have fled rural America to find jobs in the big cities are now finding an opportunity to come back and work in the wind turbine industry. They're closer to their families and they're back home where they want to be. A lot of the places where we develop wind farms and have operational projects, we are the largest taxpayer in that community. As communities are pressed with budgets getting slashed, we're able to come in and contribute dollars that are really needed for schools, for roads, for bridges, for things that they might not have the money for otherwise. County gets money, school gets money, and it's all extra money that you can do things with that you wouldn't have done otherwise. We are definitely saving the county a lot of money because ADPR is going to build several miles of road. We're able to upgrade roads that we would not have financially had the, uh, the tax dollars to do that. In the past 10 years, we've paid over $250 million in property taxes to local jurisdictions based on the value of our equipment. This is money that goes into the local communities and to provide for better education for the local schools. I've been in schools where more teachers have been hired. Students with learning disabilities are able to get new technology that before they didn't get to have. I've been in communities where county commissioners have told me that because of the wind farms, they were able to hire paramedics. They were able to, you know, they're 30 miles away from the nearest hospital and, and because of the revenue from the wind farm, they were able to buy an ambulance. We're going into these small towns and helping to revitalize wonderful communities and bring tax base and jobs. It's a great joy to me to be able to come into these little towns and meet the people and feel like you've become a part of the community. And developing those types of relationships is really important to me, not just as an employee of EDPR, but as a person.